Hey strangers, I know it's been a while. I am finally feeling better. I've had this horrible ear infection that I am now kind of getting better from. Today's like the second day where I actually feel back to normal. So the Instant Pot, let's get down to it. I know a lot of you have been reaching out to me asking what size Instant Pot to get because for those of you that know, I put out a lot of these Instant Pot quick meal videos. So that's what we're here for today. But Eight quart was the one I hopefully that you got hope that you got. Um, and today I'm going to whip up something really quick. I call it calabacita de pollo y chipotle, meaning squash with chicken and uh, chipotle pepper. Here's what you're gonna use, okay? I got about three pounds of chicken breast, about four big pieces, some zucchini squash. I got that chopped up and ready to go. About half a small onion. I'm using three serrano peppers. Y'all know my obsession with serrano peppers. You don't have to use it at all, actually, if you can't hang. Uh, cilantro, a couple handfuls of cilantro. You don't have to use that much either. Remember, that is also optional. Some people can't deal with cilantro. They don't have that, I don't know, taste bud for it. And I also am using a small can of chipotle pepper, San Marcos brand. You don't have to use that brand. There's various kinds and tomato sauce by your local HB here in San Antonio. Iodize, iodize, ah, iodize salt. My favorite caldo con pollo de, I'm sorry, chicken bouillon, garlic, about two cups of water, small potatoes, and some corn, and you're in some pot. Let's do a quick scan, but what's really funny in the Latino Mexican American kitchens is that you pretty much use the same ingredients in most of your dishes. You just kind of change them around a bit or, you know, cook them a little differently. But for the most part, there's chicken, if you're gonna use chicken and everything, squash, potato. But trust me, this will have a different taste from like the caldos that I've made and some of the other stuff. So, okay, let's throw it together. Yep, it's that simple, y'all. I literally just threw everything in my pot. I started with the chicken on the bottom, of course, the garlic next to it or beside it. Uh, corn, onion, little potatoes, I didn't even cut them. And I'm kind of nervous about putting in the squash and the cilantro. I usually kind of let this cook through and then I put this in the last minute in the Instant Pot cook time. But I'm just gonna throw it all in because maybe my way is just like being the paranoid way. So let's throw that in. Okay, so here's the last step. I threw everything in there, literally everything. I did about three cups of water to about three tablespoons of chicken nor suiza. I always say that. I don't know where I got that from. Chicken nor bouillon, okay? Maybe when I went to Mexico, Novo Laredo back in the day and would buy this stuff, maybe there was some labeled with that. I don't know where I got that from. But anyways, so I'm going to add the San Marcos chipotle peppers. You could probably be a cool badass and use like the actual... Um, real chipotle dry peppers but you know what this is fine and you'll whip up this meal in less than 30 minutes and okay i just added the whole can you probably don't want to do that if you can't handle spicy maybe one or two and you know what if you d just don't want to do it all together you don't have to add the chipotle but believe me trust me it's delicious you're gonna love it I forgot to mention, I did add about half a tablespoon of salt. So make sure this thing is on seething, okay? Not on venting, on seething. And now all you're gonna do is come back, go to pressure cook, and let's do, I don't know, let's do 18 minutes. I'm just scared because I have the, uh, the squash in there and the cilantro and that cooks really, really quickly. So we're gonna just make an experiment. If it, it comes out too squishy, Next time around, I will just throw that in a minute in or to the end. Anyways, I will show you what it looks like when it comes out. I think I posted a picture of the final product before, but I didn't include the steps on how to make this. So here you go. Calabacita de pollo y chipotle. Hi, I'm back in my very comfortable attire. My husband's second favorite thing to hate, pajamas. Um, this is one of his old shirts. Every time I wear it, he rolls his eyes. Seriously, guys, like, do you really expect your wives and girlfriends to walk around in negligees or something? Because, <sighs> um, yeah, these shirts are pretty comfortable. Anyways, so I'm comfy, and I could smell this thing. My pollo, uh, pollo y calabaza de chipotle, whatever you want to call it. 
Uh, I could smell it from the other room, and I'm gonna unveil it for you so you can see for yourself. Mira nomás. Híjole, ni se ve por all the smoke. See that? Let's go ahead and serve a bowl so you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna be very, very honest. The food is amazing. However, it's super spicy. So a little bit more than I anticipated. So next time I'm going to only use half the can of the chipotle because I think the whole can was a little overdoing it. But I hope that when you try yours, don't use the whole can. Have a good night.